This is called an Amicia Rose Pink, and she is a beast. Oh my god. I planted this arrangement in early spring, and it's the very first arrangement I ever did uh, this season, and she has not stopped blooming since. I also planted a Latin American fleabane and a variegated iris in there, but you wouldn't be able to tell because she has taken over this pot. I mean, you can't even see the pot anymore. So I think it's time for a change. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking I'm getting rid of a perfectly fine plant, but I think even she's ready to go. So I think it's time. Ugh. That actually came off a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> Ow. I just got poked in the butt. <laughs> so because I'm planting annuals in this pot, I'm going to be using um, the same, or I'm going to be recycling the same soil as the last one uh, because they're only going to be living here until the end of the season. But I am going to be adding a little bit more of the slow release fertilizer and of course, watering, the, water, watering them once a week with a water soluble fertilizer. So they are gonna get the nutrients that they need. And there is a little bit more uh, nutrients uh, left in this soil. So uh, this soil is still good. It's just, it helps you know, to save money. There's really no point of replacing the whole soil with a fresh one since, you know, again, they are, they're only gonna be living here until the end of the season. So yeah, uh, let me show you what the plants are. So here are the plants that we are going to be planting up today. This is called the pentas. Look how beautiful those flowers are. You know, I'm not a really big fan of uh, red flowers in the garden, but I just thought that these are just beautiful. I mean, that against the lime green leaf, it's just it's gorgeous. I think this grows to be, let's see, 15 to 24 inch tall uh, and four, to six inches in width. The next up is the salvia. These love this thing. And I just thought that the purple flowers of the salvia uh, against the red flowers of the pentas is beautiful. And I also like that this has a darker um, green color of the leaf against the lime green. It's just, you know, it's just beautiful. So, and these little guys, look how pretty these are. Look at all these colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Very summery. So these I'm going to use as fillers. Uh, and these are called Gazania Mix. They grow to be 8 inches in width and height. So I just think that they're going to brine up this arrangement. I was actually going to take you guys shopping with me so that I can talk about the process and kind of like the thinking that I go through um, when I decide on the plants that I want to put into an arrangement. But I got to the nursery and there was just way too many people. So I really wanted to just get in and get out as fast as I can. So, but sorry that did, that didn't work out. But hopefully one day, one day I will take you guys shopping with me um, because I think it is fun. It's fun shopping. I love. Uh, just looking at plants in general and I love going to nurseries uh, I could actually uh, spend hours at a nursery and I'm sure a lot of you guys can also but yeah sorry it didn't work out this time but definitely next time um, I will take you guys so yeah anyway uh, let's get to planting
so we just finished. Isn't this so pretty? It actually turned out really, really pretty. I mean, I love all the color combinations with the yellows and the orange and the purple, or is that blue? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and the red. I'm really surprised that I'm actually really, really liking this red. But, I mean, just the colors together are just so pretty. It's so summery looking. Wow. I'm actually very impressed with this combination. What do you guys think? All right, you guys. Well, thank you guys again for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And look how pretty that turned out. I'm really surprised. <laughs> um, but again, you know, you can't really go wrong with doing an arrangement with flowers. I think anything you put in an arrangement is always gonna turn out pretty. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to experiment and try new things. But yeah, um, again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.